What's going on guys? Today we got a package for Mel's Chevy Sprint Turbo. And it is a set of forged Wiseco pistons. So these are for her 91 Chevy Sprint Turbo. If you watch a couple of previous videos, I pulled a motor recently. Um, she had a number two piston failure. It is only three cylinder, but uh, the kits do come with four pistons, of course. You can't just get three. So there will be one spare just in case something happens again, but... Uh, Okay, yeah, everything's here. So this is a set of forged Wiseco pistons. It does come with rings and uh, wrist pins, of course. And look at those. They are coated. Serial number there. There we go. You can kind of pick up a little bit of the machining work done on the CNC at the bottom there. I can't remember if these were 76 millimeter. Very nice pistons. Very nice pistons. Let's take a quick look at the uh, wrist pin. And I can't really tell just by looking, but I will measure to see what the difference is for thickness in these wrist pins compared to the. Uh, the stock, the stock style, which are, let's see if I can just grab a couple here off the shelf. So what we have here, let's start with a stock piston, which is uh, damaged, of course. This is one of the engine failures we had. And you can tell it's cast just by looking at the bottom or on the inside at the base sorry um, yes just by looking now at this wrist pin you can tell 100% it is a lot thicker a lot thicker so let's take a look at the Vitara pistons which is actually an upgrade an upgraded piston um, and as you can see the damage pretty catastrophic on this one. I think it hit about 25 pounds of boost and went into an extreme lean spike of about a 13.5 AFR which in turn just completely chewed out this whole, so it just literally melted this piston. These are cast as well as the stock ones so I think we're kind of finding the weak point on these builds. Um, so the Vitara wrist pin thickness is about the same as the Wiseco. Um, I think should be able to pop this out if it's free floating. It's pretty wedged in there. So, needless to say, these, these pistons are a lot nicer. They are forged, so they should be much stronger. Um, of course, we're going to work the tune out the best we can before we just lay into it full-on, balls the walls. But uh, I've got a big cleanup to do. I'm still working on that uh, steering rack for the Buick Regal. Um, I actually had a buddy of mine 
rebuild the rack for me while I worked on the power steering pump which I put uh, what did we do to this thing we put a uh, new seal in it cleaned it up the best we could it was just it kind of still looks dirty on camera but compared to what it was it's a lot cleaner now it's gonna be easier to get back into the car so just a quick update on Mel's uh, Chevy Sprint build that's we're kind of making progress now we've got parts so I think the next step is to take one of the blocks to a machine shop because this one is completely toast the nice thing about these cars is I can literally pick the whole engine block up with like three fingers so I'm gonna get some light here on the subject hold on so you can see the center cylinder all the uh, there's literally like metal welded to the cylinder wall itself all the way around and that was uh, smoking pretty bad actually really bad I'll throw in a quick video clip of the car when it kind of broke down and started smoking really bad what I'll do though in the video instead of just uh, some regular boring noise I'll throw in some two-step 2JZ two burnout action we'll do that right now So then it's going to pretty much sum it up for today. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to do some cleanup here up at the bench and kind of get ready for when the engine comes back from the machine shop and we can start assembling it right on this bench. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.